very good morning to all my subscribers, my viewers, the obedient family. Thank you for joining me this morning. Now, I've always said this, that whatever these rulers are doing to Nigerians is deliberate. It is not as if they don't know what to actually do. It is not as if they are bereft of ideas to fix the economy if they actually want to. But they deliberately keep people in the state they are. And to an extent, I feel that that is to actually gain control over them. Because they believe that if they fix it properly, the control level will dwindle. So at the end of the day, let us make them suffer. So whenever we give them crumbs and tell them to do whatever they want to do, whatever they will do it. Well, obedience is what they will be doing. They wouldn't have a choice. And that is why you see that somebody before he becomes a minister, a commissioner, a president, a state governor, or whatever it is, a member of the National House of Assembly or the, a lawmaker, will come up during campaign and give you some of the sweetest manifestos, some of the greatest ideas. And the moment they get into those positions, it's as if they, they are bring reformats to the pattern that is existing and the loose sense of everything they have promised and they keep carrying out the injustices they carry out yes but at the end of the day there is this thing that everybody is coming to see whenever they grant an interview after the 10 days protest that nigerians are getting to a point where they can't handle this anymore now it has become clearer to the people or those that are the elites, political elites, that if we don't start doing things fast, these guys might, it might escalate. If we don't come through post protest, they will join non-state actors and it will become a terror. They become terrors for the government and other people. I'm going to be showing you an interview that is very, very important you listen to because this person was actually somebody that stood by Bola Ahmed Tinubu all the way, right from when they were fighting Nedeku, when they were actually fighting, free, when they were freedom fighters, the protests they organized and everything. He made it very clear. And then he said his own two cents of the truth. But before I do that, let me quickly tell you that the River State people have refused to stop protesting. They continue hitting the street and they said, look, we must get justice. We must make sure these people understand that we are not out here to joke, even after the 10 days. Let me show you what is happening and let me tell you what the people are saying and when I come back, we'll continue. Country. No mistrust will take this country by force. Nigeria needs a revolution and it starts with you. Yes. It starts with I. Yes. It's not by complaining in the house. Oh, fair price is this. Oh, sorry. Do you believe us alone? You're not a Nigeria. Do you believe us alone? Jagaba, leave us alone. Free us to rule our country. Now you've seen it right. Yes, they are relentless in making sure that their demands are being thrown out there they are relentless in making sure that these people understand that they are not joking and trust me there is a move in the niger delta to actually shut down the whole niger delta i'm going to be making that video much later because the people have realized that 
they, 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 these people, these people, these people in God, these rulers are actually out there to just deceive, lie, sell, sell propaganda, gaslighting, and that is all they do. And they have found out that in the food chain of the people at the top, all they want to do is just to steal. That is why you have Niger Delta development, whatever, doing nothing but eating and stealing money. And the people in the Niger Delta are suffering heavily. And then these people cannot get food to eat. Their water is messed up, everything. And still yet, little good life they're not going to forget. And it's good to see. Thank God for the protest because the signs are already there. And the truth is that a lot of people now are getting the confidence to come and warn. These people demonstrated for a minute don't joke with them because this thing they did show you that there is they, they can do better they can do much more if you insist on this part you might trigger them to the point where when they decide and come out either through protest or joining non-state state actors because what you are doing is pushing the people to the wall and when you push people to a wall to the wall to a certain extent and they warn you say we have gotten to our elastic limit or god be careful and you refuse to listen then at the end of the day whatever you get you brought it to yourself and that is what a lot of people now are coming out to tell him do right by the people find a way to solve this whole thing because it's not as if you don't know you know clearly you are deliberately not doing it let me allow you to listen and when i come back we'll wrap this up there is a total lack of capacity and this deliberate lack of capacity to tackle corruption in the nigeria by the leadership and because they do not have the capacity to tackle corruption they have decided to shift the burden of the failing nigerian state to the ordinary masses by imposing all this uh, withdrawal of fuel subsidy, devaluation of Nigeria, which has made life too difficult for everybody. Okay. The Minister of Petroleum, who also happens to be the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, cannot deliver in his special Minister of Petroleum. He has to resign. Oh, that is the truth of it. I don't have faith anymore in President Ahmed Bola Tunubu. Like I told you uh, off a uh, record, I was the person holding the microphone in the popular video that has gone viral where he was calling for protest. So how come the same Bola Tudubu is coming out today to say that people cannot protest? What we did in those days when we were in opposition, the people today have not done one quarter of it. We blocked Old Mainland Bridge. Osagi Obayi one and I used to block Oyibo. What is it? We, we, we set up pirate radio with a minister in his government whose name I don't want to mention, but he knows himself. We operated Radio Kudrat International from exile. The truth is that the people today are not even angry. Because if they're angry, they don't need to bother with all this uh, thing they are saying that nobody can protest. Just disregard them and do something that shows how angry you are. And I'm sure that Tunubu himself is just testing the capacity of the people who are angry to know whether they are genuinely angry. All right. And the, the, it, it, what is happening today is evidence that there is no police opposition political parties. The opposition political parties are gone. Okay. But let me warn. Unless we take necessary steps to allow the populace to vent their anger peacefully, democratically, we will only succeed in pushing them underground. When Many of them will get angry and join the bandits. Many of them will get angry and join the non-state actors in different areas and but begin we, we to cause it doesn't measures. really happen. Why did we form APC? I started from Action Congress to Action Congress of Nigeria to APC. We had a document that contained all these things that need to be done that everybody is calling on him to do. Has he thrown away his copies of the uh, document? He should go and collect the copy from uh, Baba Kondi. Now you've had it right. The truth has to be said. Unfortunately, most times, when these people are in bed with these politicians, they don't come out to say the truth. It is when they leave, they now come out and be pointed out anyhow. 
that's why i told you there's a total shutdown of their brain whenever they get to leadership position this is a young man that have been in apc now coming out to say oh this is not what we actually fought for in apc i was with tinubu protest is legal is legal we we were the ones that did shut down this place shut down this place with him at that point in time we even did worse than this generation are doing let us better be careful because if these guys we don't give them what they want they might join non-state actors and the rest all the years when buari was there where were you you didn't come out to say anything but the fact that the truth is being spoken has to be the truth has to be pointed out and my job here is to make sure that every a lot of people hear it so it's coming out clearly to say this is it this is not the apc we plan for that thing that uh, uh you know the commonwealth chairman at the point went to go and meet Tinubu. let us uh, look for how to re uh, rearrange the constitution let us find a, a a level playing ground blah 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 blah. it's not as if these guys don't know and funny enough i keep saying it it's just like telling somebody with certain things they favor say make you stop they do that thing with a favor around make it change around. when he knows that this is the medium through which i am actually achieving what i want to achieve you are telling a politician that literally all he does is rigging to go and bring some electoral reforms that will make him not to be able to rig himself into power again and you expect him to carry it out you are telling people that con the constitution is favoring they can loot they can steal anyhow they can do whatever they want to do and nobody holds them responsible that they should quickly go and change the constitution that is allowing them to be able to loot this thing and you expect them to carry it out that is why it has been a joke right from time right from time they have been anybody that enters we still talk about this constitution buari was there good luck was there can we do some can we do some reform can we change this constitution this 1999 constitution is not a good constitution blah 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 and you expect those people that are corrupt breeded that corruption run through their veins to actually accept and now say okay no problem oh we will change the constitution oh. then they go out and go and change it and then to their detriment no they will never want to do it because they know that the road that led them into that power was not straight it was crooked and that is why you see a president will tell a group of people he said i traditional rulers as alleged by one of the cler clerics that i bought myself into this position So you are not telling somebody that literally will rig his way that he should stop he should bring something that will make him to stop rigging and then when we start talking about this thing when we enhance when we go further and talking about it you see people coming to say and eh, the only thing is that you you need to use your platform to advocate for division and eh, let Briafra go who are those that will fight for it i keep asking you that question please can somebody answer me in the comment section who are those that will fight for it who are those that will put hand for this thing to happen when the same people that are your leaders in the southeast are the same are in bed with these people and doing everything together with them who are those that will fight for it who are those that will make it happen when in the candy was making too much noise where is he now they don't really release us since that time he's getting sick and the ailment is increasing by the day so before you know they will release him when the thing is almost close to kill him he don't die that one don't go simon ekpada is making noise where is he finland so who are those that will come and say divide where are they let us be sensible let me drop this video here so that you can actually drop your say drop your say in the comment section I'd really love to hear from you subscribe to this channel if you haven't turn on the notification bell so that whenever i drop a video you'll be the first to be notified thank you for watching this video please drop your comments really love to hear from you god bless you have a blessed week ahead i'll see you next time